I'm realizing my biggest fear isn't failure. It's being stuck. It's never changing. Imagine the whole world spinning while you looked on, fixed in place, unmoving. We as a society are obsessed with not letting things go, of micromanaging our humanity to the extent where we forget to be human. When death explodes in your presence amidst ignored warning signs, you are forced to confront the regret of not having given your heart the chance to brace for impact. Death is the acknowledgement that everything is transient and must therefore be experienced to the fullest at the time of its existence. Death is the realization that constantly putting things off will result in never having done it. Death is a sobering antidote to a life half-lived. There is nothing like losing a chance to do something that will wake you up from a zombied existence. It is the light bulb moment you realize it is no longer enough to only dream about some romantic future. It is the spark that makes you yearn to have the here and now. No more fantasies delayed in perpetuity. No more complacency in a routine that you hate. No more ignorance to your own life. You become free by facing the ugly truth. Nothing lasts forever. I choose life, so I befriend death. When you befriend death, you can give yourself enough time and space to grieve. You can honor the tidal wave of emotions within. A reverence emerges. You allow nature, so nature allows you. I'd rather live a life full of deaths on my own terms. To end a friendship that holds me back. To leave a job that exhausts me. To move cities when I'm no longer inspired by the one I'm currently in. I choose to move on before staying will cripple me. Before I begin to live a life I cannot stand by. I choose to spin with this crazy world. Because in doing so, I have an infinite number of chances to be reborn.